Uh, one question patients have when they come see me for consultation is, uh, are they appropriate candidates for using a surrogate? And a surrogate, of course, is someone who will carry that pregnancy successfully for a couple who contribute their genetic material, sperm and eggs, to make their embryo, have that embryo transferred into this other person, the surrogate, who will carry their pregnancy. And the classic indication for the use of a surrogate is someone who has a uterus that's not functioning appropriately. So we call that uterine factor fertility. Um, the uterus is really simply this big muscular, thick muscular walled organ that has a cavity inside where babies grow. And sometimes those, that thick muscular wall can form these little lesions that are called fibroids. And fibroids are common. They're found in at least 30% of women. But if there's too many or if they're too big or if they're located in a bad place and they can't be removed surgically, the uterus becomes a poor environment for embryo implantation and the carrying of a pregnancy. And so, um, so really any abnormalities physically with the uterus, too many fibroids. There sometimes can be overgrowth of the lining that are called polyps. Um, some patients have had surgeries in the past for different conditions of the uterus and form significant scar tissue inside the uterus and they will now not develop an adequate uterine lining for implantation of an embryo. So basically abnormalities of the uterus, whether it be scar tissue, excessive fibroids, um, and some people because of those conditions have had their uterus removed and they have adequately functioning ovaries, good quality eggs, but they don't have an environment within which to carry the baby. So uterine abnormalities. Other patients that are candidates for surrogacy are those that have had recurrent pregnancy losses. Now, patients come to see us that have had, you know, three, four, five, sometimes up to 15 pregnancy losses that have been relatively unexplained. And we try to look through a series of things to try to diagnose why those losses have occurred, but we can't find an indication or we think we have and try to treat that and additional losses continue. The next step is really taking their embryos and putting them into a different uterine environment and hopefully having a better chance of carrying a successful pregnancy. So there's uterine abnormalities that are structural or physical. There's women who have a poorly functioning uterus with recurrent pregnancy loss. And there's also women who have medical conditions such as heart conditions, uh, different you know problems, pulmonary, lung function abnormalities, any significant medical issues that might be compromised by taking on the further toll that a pregnancy can induce. And, and one thing with pregnancy is one of the, you know, the least effects is there's about a 30% increase in blood volume during a pregnancy. And so um, frequently these different medical conditions, pulmonary, cardiac, some people with different autoimmune things like lupus, those patients cannot carry pregnancy successfully or those pregnancies will compromise their health further. And so those also are candidates for using a surrogate.